Oh, Tom and Jerry. Not rain nor snow nor a history littered with racially insensitive missteps can deter the cartoon violence of a cat and mouse. Not even an absolute crap platformer from those bastions of proto-shovelware high-tech expressions could stop the antics of Hanna-Barbera's most recognizable duo this side of Space Ghost and Zorak. Fred Flintstone might object to this statement, but he can shut up until he pays me the 20 clams he owes me. I've got a chowder to make. Tom and Jerry... Wait, a Tuffy? The hell's a Tuffy? Somebody needs to drop the Save by the Bell font and explain to me who the hell is Tuffy? A nephew? Who's trying to think he is? Scrooge McDuck? At least that was a genuinely good game. This? Well, the second level takes place in a series of tubes down which is flushed a blue substance that may or may not be 2,000 flushes. I'll leave the rest for you to deduce. If you tilt your head until your neck starts making funny noises, you might, might liken this the house is so huge style platformer to a rescue rangers or a little Nemo. But don't. Your goal is to get to the end, which is usually the upper rightmost point in the level in keeping with standard platformer tradition. Between it and you are hostile nutcrackers, spiders, flies, snails, squirrels desperate to share their nuts with you, and every third level, Tom himself flicking marbles at you or something. That jerk. Your primary weapon is a supply of balls. Blue balls that arc downward and are a right pain to aim. Occasionally you'll come upon a... Is that a saucepan? Who the heck makes a mouse-sized saucepan? Nothing here makes sense. Even the audio is just the same track looped over and over and over and over again, combined with sound effects that make me all nostalgic for playing those crappy Mega Man knockoff games on my old Tandy. That's right, I said it. My old Tandy. It's no secret that if the game says high-tech expressions on it, chances are your soul is already forfeit. Best you can hope for is something inoffensive. And while there's plenty of frustration to be had, the game isn't actually broken or defective. Just uninspired, derivative, and reliant on a license that was barely relevant then, and is even shakier now. You know what? Let Tuffy stay in the attic. We're just gonna forget about him anyway. If you're absolutely dead set on playing this thing... Eh, here's an infinite lives code. You're gonna need it just to deal with the sewage level. <laughs>